Hey there, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's your first time here. My name is Erin and today's video is an episode of Hashtag Friday Sews. This hashtag was started by Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room as a way for sews here on YouTube to get together, talk about what we're working on, what our plans are, and a little bit about life in there. So thank you so much for joining me today and thank you so much to Jen for starting this hashtag. Um, if you do enjoy this video, I hope you consider hitting that like button and leaving a comment to let me know what you're working on and what your plans in life are. And if you are not already subscribed, I hope you also consider subscribing to my channel. Um, I would love to have you here in my little corner of the YouTube sewing community. Let's get into it. So this week I did not get a lot of sewing done for reasons I guess I'll go into in life, but um, nothing crazy. But I just get, did not get a lot of sewing done. Um, what I did accomplish, my plans were to work on Santa sex, and I did do that. Um, my mom, my sister, and I have a little Etsy shop for quilted sewn goods. If you hear, um, background noise, it's my husband and my daughter, uh, playing and hanging out. He just very loudly said, come on, dude, to her. So you might hear that. If not, then I'm laughing for random reasons in your opinion. Anyway, um, so Etsy shop, sewn quilted goods, etc. They are going to be going to a craft fair type winter market situation where they live in Texas on the 2nd of December. So right now I am focused on making some things that are uh, holiday themed gift-ish for that. Um, so I wanted to work on some Santa sacks. I couldn't find a tutorial, excuse me, or anything online that was exactly what I wanted. I'm sure it exists out there. I just couldn't really find it as I was browsing and I didn't want to spend a ton of time trying to find the perfect tutorial when I knew I could come up with what I wanted. So I made a prototype first. I don't know if you'll be able to see the whole thing, but I can put some pictures in. Uh, this was just using two fat quarters I had and then some extra scraps. It's cool because it kind of turned out to be like night and day themed um, and then some black twill tape. So I knew I wanted a box bottom. So I did that and then I knew I wanted, I didn't want the drawstring at the top to be the top. I wanted a little more fabric beyond it. And I know that there are multiple ways to do it, including just like sewing some bias um, type along it and then making that your channel. Um, or there's, there's multiple ways to do it. I wanted it to also be a contrasting fabric and I didn't want to line these bags because I didn't want to have to buy more fabric. Um, lining would have been the easiest way to do it, I think, but I, I didn't want to have to line them because I didn't want to, I, I thought I already had everything I wanted. I didn't want to go to the store again. I didn't want to put more money into it essentially. So um, I knew I was going to do French seams on the inside um, was how I was going to finish it. Um, I know it's not going to be like a heavily laundered item or anything like that, but I did want it to look professional and be finished on the inside. Um, I might make some different gift bags that are just pinked or something. I'll figure that out when I get to those. But for these Santa sacks, I knew I wanted them to be really nicely finished. So that is what I kind of had in my head in terms of no lining, wanting the top to be different and wanting box bottom. So I made this, sorry, that was kind of all over the place. I totally lost my train of thought. I made this practice mock-up of it. This one, I only had the ribbon come out on one side. I decided I really wanted it to come out of both, not for any practical reason. I just like the aesthetic of it. So I knew that. And then I wanted the top to be just a little taller. To me, proportionately, this is just really big compared to how small this is. So those are the only two changes I came away with. Um, the size was also going to be a little bit different because I was working with fat quarters here, so I was limited by that. Whereas with the yardage I bought of a duck cloth, I knew I wanted to use as much of that as possible. Um, like have as little waste as possible. 
So this is the finished product. It doesn't look like I actually made the top that much taller, but that's just because the box bottom, I think, is there. So it's a little better that way. I really like having the ties come out of both sides. Um, obviously right now they look really long, but you could tie them in a bow or honestly even leave them. I like them left. Oh, why is that so tight? There we go. And then uh, once again, French seamed. So it's, ooh, lots of fuzzies. French seamed all around. And then, uh, yeah, like I said, I have the casing here and then coming out of both sides is the ribbon. Pretty simple, um, really does not take that much time. The French seaming obviously takes a little longer. Um, oh, and then the other thing I did was for this top, instead of having it just be, like this one I just uh, folded, I cut it twice as wide as I wanted, or twice as tall as I wanted it essentially, and then folded it. I um, made this one to where I had four pieces and then sewed it together. And I cannot remember why I did that. It's probably a mistake that I decided to just roll with, but um, I do like how it looks. I don't know why, I just like that there's a seam up there. I think it does obviously give it a little more body. Um, so yeah, I really like it. I really don't remember why I did that. There was a reason, probably a mistake. So that is one Santa sack. I have six more in progress. So I have six that I've made the bottom part of the sack already. Um, all put together so nicely. It is, it's just really satisfying to look inside of these bags and they're so clean and nicely finished. Um, because ideally I would like someone to buy this to use for years and years. I mean, that's the whole point of a sustainable gift bag, right? You can use it over and over again, maybe need to wash it, things like that. And I just really like knowing that this is going to stand up for a long time because it's so nicely finished. But yeah, so I have six more of these. I'm currently working on sewing together the green part at the top and then I just have to attach, run the ribbon, etc. So that is all I really got accomplished. I sewed down the binding on the fall table topper that I showed last week and then also did the separate video about quilting. So that's done. Um, next, I'm going to work on, this is going to become wine bags. This is going to become, I think just generic gift bags is the plan. So that's what I'll be working on after the Santa sacks and then a couple other little bits and bobs, little like decor type things. I think some uh, of the fabric bookmarks that you can use to, as a bookmark, to mark where you are in your book um, with scraps and stuff like that. So those are my current plans. These next couple of weeks are mostly just focused on getting those things made so I can send them to them. Nothing too exciting. It's kind of nice to do just like boring sewing though. It's been nice, especially because, I guess, flowing right into life, we got sick, sort of. Adam had been kind of sick. He was getting better. Brady got sick. She is our 16-month-old. Um, and she's never been sick before, so, like, I can't believe we made it this far without her ever getting sick. But, yeah, so she's been sick, which obviously just is a big bummer because it's hard to see someone that little sick when like you can't really do anything um so sucks snot out of their nose um but she is on the mend she's doing much better even at night her coughing isn't as bad and stuff so we are all headed in the right direction but in the middle of that over the weekend I got a stomach bug like just just for fun I guess so I was out of commission totally for like two, two and a half days, just like the full body, like weakness. Um, I slept basically all day Sunday. Thankfully it was not a weekday or a work day where Adam had to go to work so he could hang out with our poor, sick, coughing, snotty child while I laid around holding my poor, very sore gut. It was a hot mess at our house for 
a, a good like three to four days, like absolute just chaos um, and illness. But we are all on the mend now. So that's all that matters. And we're just going to keep kind of laying low, recovering. Um, the longest run of my marathon training program is tomorrow. It's supposed to be three, almost three and a half hours, three hours and 20 minutes or something like that. So I'm going to do that. I did at least last weekend get my long and run before I got sick. I ran about 15 miles. So I do have that long run to accomplish. And then other than that, I just want to sew, clean that like post illness clean where you're just like, let's sanitize literally everything in this house. I think we're also going to do that. Um, and that's it. So short, sweet, simple. This coming Wednesday, I have my very first online fabric haul. Fabric order haul? How would you say that? It's on an online fabric haul. Anyway. I ordered fabric online for the first time and I did an unboxing and first impressions and stuff like that. And spoiler alert, it's not all good. Hmm. Interesting. So that'll be coming out on Wednesday. If you want to see that, um, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And that does it for this week, this episode of Hashtag Friday Sews. I hope all of you have a wonderful weekend. I hope you get to sew some if that's what you want to do. I hope you get to adventure if that's what you want to do. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and a wonderful week. I will see you guys again next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.